Love Every is kind of like Lularo or Lululemon in that it's confusing to say and it takes all of your money. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But the first time you read it, you might think lover e or love very or but you'd be wrong it's actually love every so you're welcome and i hope you love every minute of this video all right let's start off with a little love every background so these are toy kits that are designed to support brain development throughout different stages of your child's life, starting uh, with ages zero to three months up to 48 months. So these toys are designed and developed by researchers and experts in the field of child development. So what this means is that each play kit is designed to integrate play and brain development for the different stages of your child's development. So the main theory behind this is something called Montessori learning. For me, I've tended to associate Montessori education with hippy dippy type principles that basically let your child do whatever they want. And honestly, in reality, uh, it's not that far off and it kind of makes sense. So having done some of my own research, there's actually a lot of science behind its effectiveness. So according to simplepsychology.com, the idea behind Montessori learning is to create an environment that allows your child's optimal intellectual, physical, uh, emotional, and social development to occur. Like I said, hippy dippy stuff. And they'd say Montessori, not sorry, if they were Canadian. So like I said, each kid is themed around stimulating age appropriate development in the areas I just mentioned and provides a variety of play options that correlate to the theme of the kit. So in this video, I'm going to review the Love Every Analyst Play Kit designed for 46, 47, and 48 month old kids. You know, the 40 somethings who have lost interest in things that used to bring them joy. Like, whoop, I stole your nose and Ooh, my thumb came off. All right, let's crack open the analyst box and analyze the contents. So the first item is the Montessori sensory box. So this box is supposed to help develop your child's multi-sensory integration uh, by having your child use their sense of touch to help identify different objects. Uh, the next item is the color theory puzzle, which is supposed to help introduce the idea of color gradation. Basically, your child is supposed to match the different shades of color to complete the puzzle uh, and then match it to the Pantone color of the year, which side note, the Pantone color of the year for 2022 is, got it here, uh, yeah, got it here, 39, 38, very Perry, very choice. Anyway, according to Pantone, and I don't think I'm saying this right, Pantone, sounds like a bread. I think it is a bread. This depressing dusty lavender color encourages personal inventiveness and creativity. Sounds like Montessori to me. All right, up next, you've got the sewing kit, which is pretty straightforward in that it helps develop your child's fine motor skills. And when it comes to fine motor skill development, they reap what they sow. With this, there are different patterns that you can put over the hoop, but in full disclosure, those have gone missing. More on that later. A lot of things have gone missing. And after that, we've got the pattern match boats and card set. So the idea here is that your child starts to learn how to translate 2D objects into 3D objects, uh, basically turning them into a 3D printer. So how it works is that you take a card and tell your child to create what they see on the card using the boat objects. Uh, I'll take time to note here that how to do it section in the guidebook for each activity takes special care to also state that letting your child play with the items in whatever way they wish is perfectly acceptable. As the Montessori Mandalorian would say, it is the way. Lastly, and the section of the kit that I'm going to highlight in a little more detail later on in this review are the visual recipe cards that can be used in conjunction with these stackable cups that also come in the kit. There's also a super cute Montessori book, storybook, sorry, I've got Montessori on the brain, uh, that details a little boy's introduction into quarters, halves, and holes called quarter, half, and whole. At first, I was super skeptical about the whole idea of introducing uh, basically fractions. However, as is noted all over the guidebook, everything in this kit is merely meant to act as an introduction to different ideas. In no way, shape, or form is your child expected to walk away from the activities having mastered the principles you introduce. Now, that made me feel a whole lot better because I barely understand fractions, uh, let alone how to explain it to my four-year-old. Now, we need a third of a cup. So this is a whole, this is the half, and then half of that, 
Oop. And then now we need the third of a cup. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And this gets me to what I feel like is the most important aspect of any kit you receive. And that is the guidebook that uh, I mentioned several times now. Basically this book teaches you how to engage and interact with your kid using the toys provided in the kits. Not only that, but uh, the book provides a whole lot of other activities you can do with your kid to help reinforce the ideas introduced with the toys and the play kits. So if you're like me and not very imaginative when it comes to figuring out different ways to play with your kids, then this guidebook is going to be great for you. Now, if you think about it, while the toys may get misplaced or eaten by family pets or whatever, the ideas in this book can still be put into practice by using other items you find around your house. And it's also a great teachable moment when that happens to say, hey, we used to have the whole box, then Ernie ate half, and then you lost the other quarter, and now we're making boat shapes from toilet paper rolls, and that's still awesome. And maybe more importantly, it's an extremely valuable reference for you as a parent to not only educate yourself and how to use these extremely practical principles uh, that are going to be vital in the positive development of your child, but also help you understand the why of what you're doing. So long story short, this thing is great. All right, so what was my experience using these kits? I'll start off by saying that I tend to be a bit caveman brain when it comes to principles and theories like Montessori education. These kits are actually great for me. One, like I said, it helps me interact with my kids and I guess I'll call it a more cerebrally stimulating way. Uh, plus it helps me come up with other activities to do when things start to get stale. So I definitely had a positive experience. And I'll speak for Calvin here, uh, cause he's a bit camera shy. Uh, I feel like he got the most value out of figuring out his own way of playing with the toys and not necessarily the ways that are described in the guidebook. And that made him happy. And I was just kind of there throwing in concepts at the book details along the way. So like Calvin would be putting the pieces in the puzzle and I'd be like, hey, did you know that the different shades of blue you see is called color gradation? And he'd be like, yeah, duh. But the activity he enjoyed the most was using the fraction cups, but mostly because it allowed him to bake. An activity that he is always wanting to help out with, but rarely, if ever, gets to participate fully in. So what I'm gonna do now is play some clips of Calvin and I using those cups um, in recipe book to make the granola bar recipe. A half a cup of dates. So if this is a whole, which one is a half a cup? Well, that's a quarter. That's a third, half a cup. All right, says we need to use the spatula. Can you grab the spatula from the pile there? Right here. Sure. Oh, I, I don't do this guy. That one? Okay. All right, give me a scoop of almond butter. Ooh. Do we have enough? Mm -hmm. Is that up to the, up to the top? I need that to you. We need to add some more. We need some don't want more. Why not? But we need to, according to the recipe. This is where my control starts to take over and I need to take a breath. I'm let Calvin do it, because he can do it. <sighs> What's, what are we doing step three? Mix. That's right, we stir it together and mix it all up. There you go. Um, Molly's gonna be happy. Uh, her, 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 will be mixing up. She be happy with what we're mixing up? Yeah, we mix it. Daddy, I'm gonna mix it. My bad, my bad. It's a little bit. I'm, I'm getting good. Oh, 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 oh. That's plenty. Nope, 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 nope. We gotta mix it up first. No, buddy. We gotta mix it. Nope. Okay. I don't like it. Okay. I don't like it. But, okay, so when you start mixing, don't mix with that. Nope, nope. Leave that out since you put your mouth on it. I'll put it right there for later. No. Okay, well, this will stay within the family. <laughs> I like to compare the steps with what the picture show to make that sure. That me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Enough talking, more stirring is what Calvin is saying. Calvin, what'd you learn about holes and parts today? It's taking us long. Do you remember which one is the whole, the whole cup? That's right. No honey. No more honey. honey. No more honey. Daddy. Hey, no more honey. We need some more honey. No, we don't. We really, we really don't. We I need this. Times. Times. Okay. 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 Yeah. He loved doing it. I had a lot of fun doing it with him. Uh, super simple recipe. Not a whole lot of cleanup. You're going to have to clean up, obviously. Um, and the bars, not bad. And it's also not lost on me that the hippy dippy box had us make a granola bar recipe. Super crunchy. 
Now, having watched this again, the biggest and probably the most surprising thing I took away from that experience is how engaged Calvin was during the whole process. And it took about 25-ish minutes to make the bars, which is astonishing given the fact that the average attention span of a four-year-old is about 10 minutes. And did I need the Love Every Kit to do something like this with Calvin? No, but I feel like it helped me uh, be a better play partner with him or a baking partner with him. So at the end of the day, I feel like these kits provide almost an equal amount of value for both your child and you. And that's saying something because these kits are not cheap. That's a good segue into some of the downsides of these kits. First and foremost, they come with so many pieces. I mean, like a lot of pieces. So really take the time to reflect on how organized you are before buying. Uh, in the analyst kit alone, there are around 80 pieces to keep track of. Seriously though, you will need to be super organized to get the most value out of these kits because if you don't use them and play with them multiple times, you're not getting a very good return on your investment. And I think the folks at Love Every realize that organization is a key factor because you can buy on their site a Montessori play shelf. Now, this is just a bookshelf and it's quite outrageous that it costs $400. So if you want a uh, shelf to put these toys on or in, get yourself to Ikea and pick up the Elit for 150 bucks or better yet, the Calyx shelf for 98 bucks. Calyx? Calyx? Let's go with Calyx. Yeah, yeah, the Montessori play shelf is called a play shelf and not a bookshelf, so it must be better. And sure, sure, it's made from 100% FSC certified Baltic birch. Listen, my extremist left-wing liberal tendencies only go so far. Oh, and fun fact, Calvin has a preschool classmate named Baltic Birch, so. Now this next point is not so much a what I didn't like point, but more of a forewarning. In my experience, these toys were not something my kids often chose to get out on their own to play with. I had to put in work to get them out myself and attempt to uh, get them to engage with the toys. And after that, they would play with them for a while and move on to something else. Uh, but I mentioned this for two reasons, one, you're probably going to have to put in more effort than you might uh, be used to to get your kids to play with them. And two, these are not cheap. So if you don't actively decide uh, to get these toys out, the kits can become a one and done type of item. So individually, each kit from the stages of zero to 12 months is 80 bucks, but you can bundle them and make them a bit cheaper. So the kits for the 13 to 48 months are more expensive at 120 bucks per kit. So like I said, th these are quite an investment. When all of this is said and done, uh, the question becomes, should you get these kits? I would highly recommend at least trying one of them, especially as they get into the 13, 14, 15 month stages. I think you will be amazed at what you will get out of these kits, let alone what your kids will get out of them, but uh, just get yourself organized beforehand. So uh, any questions that you have on these kits, please leave them in the comments below. And while you're at it, use your multi-sensory skills to seek out that like and subscribe button and give them a tap. Good job. Also, if your own brain could use some stimulating or your husband's could, you might be interested in the thought-provoking dialogue and engagement with other dads you'll get with our new online community. It's our own little place for dads to hang out, talk about wins. Yeah, I need a snack. You need a snack? Okay, I'll be right there. A lot of slow motion videos of things being demolished. Uh, you know, the good stuff. It's basically a place to connect with other guys who are going through the same stuff you are. Right? So head on over to fathercraft.com slash community to learn more about it. That's fathercraft.com slash community. I look forward to hearing about your tallest block towers and seeing you in the community. And I will also see you in the next video.